Hey guys, Ultimate Demon Dog here, and I don't know why Sprout Slim is so catchy, it just kind of is, for no real reason. But anyways, that happens when you leave. <laughs> this guy's just gonna slowly make his way back, but we've gotta give chase quickly. And then incredibly awkwardness happens. What we miss here is, um... Penelope runs up this ladder. Well, no, Beecher apparently saw it, but... What, what's going on here? What's going on? This is going on. And Penelope just has no idea what's going on here, but, um... We gotta figure out who's the real one. And okay, this is your hint, actually, as to what you have to do. Is that Bijou is reminded of an old story. She doesn't remember exactly what it is, but finding out what this story is can help us determine who's the real Pashmina. Now, originally, what I did was. I attacked this one because I'm like, oh my god, this is just a band, it's not a scarf because it doesn't have that thing hanging off. Okay, well that's not... No. <laughs> you can attack both of them however much you want. You can attack Penelope if you want. It's not how you do it. But... Um, see, I liked this puzzle because it was... Back in when I was younger, this was basically the extent of my puzzle solving capability. And I managed to figure out how to do it. <laughs> this old guy, he likes telling stories, huh? Here we go. So he's gonna tell us a story about a wise hamster, and then two hamsters had a child, and they were like, Hey, you, old guy, tell us which one would be a better mother. And then the wise hamster said that they should... Oh, he falls asleep again. Well, you know, you just wake him up again and he'll forget the story, but... <laughs> he told them to tuggy. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't explain how that helps, but he's like, yeah, that's what he did. So, we'll see. Now you might be wondering how that's going to help. Well, it just does, so don't question it. Go up here. They're still in the same position. And we say, Tuggy. And that's how the problem will be solved. This is really awkward. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. And they're pulling as hard as they can. Penelope's not enjoying this. Oh. Here we go. And this is how you figure it out. Because Pashmina decides that uh, she doesn't want to hurt Penelope. <laughs> and there we go. We figured it out. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's like, well, this is awkward. Anyways, he's just gonna do something, but Penelope's not very happy, and boom! We've got that thing with the... with the super strong child. Yeah. That happens. That's a thing. <laughs> and he rides away on a magical fish to a magical land somewhere not here. Goodbye, Spat. Gone from Sandy Bay. So that reunites their friendship, and we get number five. Poof. Done. Awesome. Good stuff.
now. Now, the word we get from this. The word we get from this is snorkely. Yeah. That's just weird. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest ones. Snorkely. That may not make sense, but snorkely actually means deep. Now. That word could theoretically, since you actually get the snorkels, you would think maybe you might actually just use that word for swimming, but I don't believe that word actually has any use. Either way, we've cleared that up now. Something that is now available to us that wasn't before is the hula contest. If you would talk to the person that you would talk to to enter, you would just be like, are you okay? That hamster was really violent or something like that. Something stupid. Alright, now you can go here to practice your dance. And by practice it means make it. There's already a dance that they make for you called Try. And I'm not going to change it too much. I'll just fill in the blanks basically, but keep what they already have. I'll put in Bizarro. I'll put in Blahu, and I will put in Love Dove, just because I like that. I like that one. And save it. Um, I actually, frankly, somehow I like don't know how to change the song. It says like up and down arrow keys or whatever. Up and down on the D-pad of the song, apparently. I don't know, that doesn't seem to work. So, oh well. We'll just end here and enter the dance contest. This is important, trust me. We, we do need to do this. Our dance is totally ready, because it was made for us. I'm pretty sure in the C class, the, you know, the basic one that you start out with, since this is required, I'm pretty sure the, the one that they give you to start is good enough to win. You can make it your own if you want, it's just not necessary. Usually the opponent's dance will actually generally be better than yours. This one's not so great, if I recall correctly. They just all use pretty, pretty basic stuff. We, we've got more fancy, fancy dance moves. All right, so let's show them how it's done. animations got cut off. That's actually why they're blank spaces for the longer animations, but whatever. Nice, safe dance. They'll say that if it's, if it resembles the default dance, you know. Well, the winner is couple number two. Even though you're standing on the, on the left, that is, you are couple number two. So, there we go. We win, and we get a rare orange hibiscus flower. Yay! Now, um... Yeah, so we can, we can compete in the B-Class. It's actually impossible to win right now. Actually, we cannot win B-Class until way later. <laughs> so, don't even try, because there's no way you can win. It's just a waste of sunflower seeds. Why, why, why am I walking? Okay, anyways. So... We've got nothing left to do on this island right now. So we'll talk to Mr. Captain here. Back to the dock. Um, he was just thinking about stuff. A biscuit, high biscuit flower. Or what 
whatever. There's a flower, and it's rare, and his wife likes it. Now, even though he doesn't actually ask, um, the yes or no there is if you want to leave. It, I don't know why you're supposed to know that. <laughs> but yeah. We'll say ta-da! This is why you needed to learn ta-da. This took me a while in my first playthrough because I didn't think to do that side quest with the soccer players, but you need to get far enough to learn ta-da from it. Anyways... Yes, we do want to go and witness this amazing thingy. Alright. So, the ship will shove off, you know. Captain is very excited now. He just leaves, but Bijou isn't gonna let him go alone. Well, we gotta witness this scene, so... Let's go. There we go, and husband and wife are now happy once again. Yep. Job well done. <laughs> it went to so much trouble, yeah. Well, it's our job, so we're not gonna barge in and say that we did all the work. Yeah. And ham bond. I like the word ham bond. I don't believe you use it for anything, but it's it's a cool dance move. <laughs> Pretty sure you never need it now. Okay, so now he's just gonna be there. She's gonna be standing here all happy like that forever and ever and ever. And Mr. Captain will just be at his ship. But now that we've gotten rid of Spat, what do you say we head back to the clubhouse? Um, I don't believe there's anything more to do here, but... Oh! That's not the clubhouse. Oh yes, and Celebrity moved here, by the way. So, yeah. Celebrity's over here now. <laughs> But anyways, that was the wrong way. We are going to dig dig and head back to the clubhouse. Now that we've gotten rid of Spat and Sandy Bay. He's gone to Funland. Funland. I love Funland. It is such a fun land. But like actually, Funland is probably <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> They're both just like disgusted by by Harmony because she's disgusting. But anyways, we're gonna head off to Funland. Um, well, I suppose I, I can just show a little bit of it. Funland is a really cool place. Yeah, it was so necessary for the move to do that. Let's find out what this robot's all about. Huh? Oh yeah. I'd love to see this. Ammomatic? Scrubby! That's important so that you learn Scrubby here. Up. Boom. Trash. Go. 
god. Just like that. But more importantly, we get the word Scrappy. And that's gonna be the last thing for this episode. So with that... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Mathematically void of any trash. Yeah. So with that demonstration of this robot, um... See you guys next time on Hamtaro. Ham Ham Heartbreak.